Hey there, good people. What's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. It's now 5 a.m. here. Uh, I slept the whole day yesterday after the vaccination, first dose. Um, I was feeling a little bit tired, but no major, uh, what you call side effects. I haven't turned into a werewolf just yet, but I'm good. I'm feeling better. Um, so I, after the victory of Italy in the Euro, I'm feeling really happy. So I want to do two reviews for you. I have done already the Cristiano Ronaldo. That was a longer video. I haven't done a 30 minute video in a long time. That one I talked a lot. Please check out the review. But second episode, I'm going to do a sample review. Thanks to USB page and Ifran Bhai in Bangladesh who gave me this as a gift when I purchased a perfume like last month or so. So this is my very first review from this house, I think. Oh no, second or first? I think first because I smelled one other perfume from this house that was uh, quite like uh, Baccarat Rouge like but a little bit different very beast mode fragrance Thomas Cosmala. So this is number five. I don't know how to quite say the name. I haven't seen many reviews of it actually to be honest. It's called Frenes C. Hopefully I did not butcher the name and there's a tragedy that happened. Okay now we shall talk about it. This is a how much was the sample size? I don't know, they didn't mention. It's like maybe 1.5 or 1 ml, okay? So it came to the, in this like small wheel and uh, the kind you can see that paint came off. The reason being the sample sort of leaked, I don't know, uh, or sprayed during the transportation. It's not the fault of USB page, perhaps not even fault of the sample. Maybe during the courier, it got pressed, okay? So most of the juice, like I got it until like here. It was like here and I wore just two days couple of sprays and I regretted it <laughs> and I'll tell you why but I'm not gonna spray this today I still have some juice left I can smell it and I can smell it from the sample actually okay so this perfume so the fragrance uh, I think I think this is maybe 1.5 or 2 ml sample okay juice color is kind of like this bottles look like a uh, nice looking bottle kind of reminds me of Mancera so I haven't had much experience with this house I know many people love this fragrance this is a niche house and this house people actually do consider very beast mode eternal longevity so they have a lot of good reputation okay so longevity wise really beast mode let me just tell you take it out of the way if you don't wash it off it's not gonna leave your skin you put this on and go to sleep next morning you're gonna wake up you're gonna smell a lot like this okay if you especially even pray from the small bottle a small sample so was it a good thing no <laughs> because the fragrance is very 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 challenging why this is a floral wood based fragrance with a lot of smoke and what happens with florals it's a hit or miss for me i love some florals i hate most of the florals because if it's overpowering or if it's uh too feminine or it's just like way too niche like too daring uh, i would not use it on me especially living in a hot and humid uh, condition you know it's a big mistake fatal mistake so if you know fragrance like fleur de mal or Hugo Boss Oud Aromatic that I reviewed a few days back. This is something you can check it out. The thing is, Hugo Boss Oud Aromatic, I think this is as daring as this, but this is better quality. This is such a good quality perfume. The, what you call the, uh, the ingredients used in this, you can tell. They did not use anything cheap, anything synthetic. So I give credit where it's due. The fragrance, I think presentation looks good. Pricing wise, I think a little bit high niche side, but I'm not sure exactly how much, but I would definitely like to try more. Uh, another good thing is this fragrance projection wise. It's like, good Lord. It's like people will be like, Jesus, <laughs> you know, stop projecting already, you know, because I can't take it. And that's what happened with me, but it's not the fragrance's fault. It's my fault. Uh, projection is crazy. Four, five, six hours. It just goes on and a bang, banger of a performer. So projection longevity, 10. So what does it smell like? It's extremely floral, you know, like the floral, uh, animalic wood uh, I feel hint of a saffron leather somewhere and then there's a smoke uh, the combination is basically um, it's sort of think of an animal okay it's a beauty and a beast in a bottle uh, and I think women can wear it but you need to go one spray under your clothes one spray and then put on your jacket it will still project okay uh, yeah the florals I forgot what florals uh, if they were but uh, it's very um, intense very intense as saffron it's like that i think the strength comes from saffron okay so the saffron keeps it like you know like you can think of this perfume which i wear a lot uh, nishan saffron colonies which has a lot of saffron nowadays saffron is a big trend but this one is supported by neroli some sweet notes it's kind of citrusy very beautiful uh, summer perfume even can wear in uh, winter but the florals it's kind of like a 
milky floral or vanilla sort of floral think of like a thick floral suntan lotion like but they don't smell like suntan lotion but the property thickness you know so florals are very thick it's not fluffy the saffron floral oud uh, <laughs> incense uh, they hit all the animalic notes and then something uh, it'll be good for winter okay if you wear this in uh, colder months it will cut through the ice cold okay so if you're living in colder countries opposite story than me why i didn't like it uh, because it's too much for me i cannot handle this you know i'm not saying it's a bad fragrance it's just um i have a lot of other fragrances which are maybe strong animalic i have powerhouses you know like aramis i have uh, uh, boger i wear so it's not like i'm a pussy you know like i'm not a puss you know but this fragrance actually scared me in my lifetime there are few fragrances that scared me this was one of them so full respect and uh, oh man my hand got some <laughs> from the sample so the thing is uh, thanks to friend bike for giving me this and uh, this fragrance house i'm really interested to try more and i think absolute niche quality uh, you get what you pay for value for money but you have to test them from the samples do not blind buy this fragrance special do not blind buy thomas cosmala paris uh, number 5 uh, frenesi frenesi yes this perfume is a floral beast okay sound by oud and smoke with lot of saffron overall this fragrance how much i like it um uh, if i rate it from my liking i'll give it like a 6 out of 10 okay uh, the thing is it's not a 6 out of 10 fragrance uh, it's just my preference wise but if you talk about the quality it's a high quality so i'll give it 8 for quality 6 for the smell in my book but check out thomas cosmo thank you you from my for your sample so that's all for night and uh thanks for watching um thanks for always keeping me in your prayers and always uh Uh, letting me know that you are concerned about me i try my best to be staying healthy trying to take care take enough sleep take enough breaks and then so i can deliver more and more reviews for you thank you very much have a nice night or good morning to all of you and i'll see you soon bye bye